it's not really surprising because um, it's it's erupted almost like clockwork once a month since since January, um, and this is an area that that's very prone to volcanic eruptions because this is this is where we're making oceanic crust. We're making the seafloor of the ocean as two plates pull apart, and that's been going on for for hundreds of millions of years. What are the dangers posed by the eruption in terms of the direction of the lava flow and, and pooling to, to residents? So, so right now, this particular eruption, the, the lava flows have turned away from the town of Grindavik, but they are heading towards the sea. Now, they've slowed down in the last few days, so we're not sure yet if they're going to hit the sea. But if they do, they will generate what's called a laze or a, a, a lava haze. And what happens is this really hot lava enters the sea, it vaporizes seawater, and that generates acid, hydrochloric acid, which can be hazardous if you start breathing it in, if you're close enough to, the, to where it's entering the sea. How can the eruption in lava affect the lives of residents in terms of transport, air travel, even phone and internet services? Well, at the moment, only about only about a fifth of the residents have actually returned to Grindavik. Um, some of those have been moved out over the weekend, but but Iceland people from Iceland are really used to volcanic eruptions, so some have some have stayed. At the moment, there's not a significant hazard to them. The lava flows don't appear to be moving into the actual town itself. But they will have to stay in, in inside if it if it reaches the sea. How long do you think they'll have to stay away? I mean, they've been evacuated and they've been moved back and now they've been evacuated again. Eruptions can last decades, if not centuries, as I understand it. Yeah, absolutely. There's going to be a continued hazard in this area for the foreseeable future, maybe for generations. And whether people actually want to to live with that hazard, you know, it's their, it's their home. Um, think about what you would do if a volcano was erupting down the road. Do you pack up? Do you leave? Or, or, or do you just accept the risk? Why do scientists believe the area is entering a new volcanic era? What are the indications? So we know that there's been no significant, really large-scale eruptions on, on, on the Reckonane um, Peninsula for about 800 years. And all of a sudden they've started up again. And this is because this process of the plates pulling apart, that happens very slowly, about the same rate that your fingernails grow, so centimetres per year. But it's not constant. Sometimes they speed up once every thousand years or so, they get faster. And that's what's happening now. The plates are moving apart more quickly because hot rocks are welling up from depth and that's causing the melting that's generating all this new magma. Mm, well, how soon do you think tourists can start to visit the peninsula to watch the northern lights as they do or bathe in the waters of the Blue Lagoon Resort? When will these areas be deemed safe, do you think? Well, the Blue Lagoon was 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 open on Saturday, so so there were people bathing that had to be evacuated um, when this eruption started. So as soon as this eruption stops, no doubt, no doubt the Blue Lagoon will be will be open again, and um, you know there is there is there is a cordon around the a quarantine area around the volcano that you can't enter, but you can see this eruption from Reykjavik. So if you want to go and see a volcanic eruption, now is the time to go to Iceland to visit Reykjavik. And, and you know, there's a, there's a nice tall church. You can climb the tower um, and you, you will be able to see the eruption from there. No shortage of tourists, even with an eruption. What are the signs of an impending eruption? Do you think Iceland is expecting more soon? How do we know? So um, volcanic eruptions are really difficult to predict but as the magma rises within the volcano the volcano swells 
the ground rises. And it also, magma tends not to creep around silently. It's cracking rock as it goes. And that generates little seismic signals, little sounds, mini earthquakes that we can pick up and trace being underground. And that gives us clues about when it will erupt. Mm. Really does make for spectacular images. Hopefully everyone can stay safe. Dr Matthew Genge, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.